I just thought I saw like somebody on a scooter drive by my house somewhere. I was in my kitchen and I thought I I thought I saw somebody with a motorcycle helmet on driving like one of those old people scooters or something. I don't know. I must be losing it. I don't I don't know. Where'd you get that thing? <laughs> Did you steal that from some old lady? Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Where'd you get that? Did you steal that? Let me let me go for a ride. Before your mom mom catches us. Ooh, these things are fun. Woo! Whoa! I think something's definitely missing from underneath this truck. And we're gonna try to get it in today. We're gonna try to get this truck running today. And uh, what's missing is obviously the fuel tank. And we have all the parts now. Everything's ready to go. And we're gonna see if we can get this truck running today. But first, for those who don't know, this is my Silverado pickup from when I was a kid that I wind up getting back for really cheap. It's going to be my son's first truck. So we're going to try to get it running today the best we can. I got to get the fuel tank in. We got to get the fuel filter changed out. And we got to work on the injector coils or whatnot. Better off just showing you what I mean by the injector coils because it's a really messed up situation. And Hopefully I can fix it with new parts. Before we get into that, it's all ready to go. I got a new fuel tank, pump, sending unit. Uh, obviously I had to buy new wire and harness because the one that's in the truck is all chewed up. Let me show you what I'm talking about with these injectors or Oh, I don't know what they're called, but they basically send the power to the injector and uh, squirt fuel into the carburetor. Let me show you what they look like. They are toast. The guy was actually pouring fuel down the carburetor and just fried these things. I went and got the old fuel pump and I robbed the wires off of it because it came to me. I thought of this because that's how things work in my life is. Say I get all that stuff done underneath the truck and I get it all crimped, wired, shrink, everything, the whole works. And I go to plug in, I go to plug in and I am just not there and I wind up short. So I'm going to give myself plenty of room for wiggle room to wire in this harness. Now, going over these wires, this was in the original fuel pump, but I saw that... There was a short in that fuel pump and it burned some of the wires off. So I clipped off some of the crusty stuff. We're going to use these crimps right here, which are a heat shrink. And then going over the harness that's on the tool bench right now, we're going to check out where he cut into the harness and checked for a short and just nicked the insulation. We're going to use a heat shrink to cover that up. So I'm going to do some work on the tool bench and then hopefully uh, we can get underneath the truck without any issues and find more uh, stuff. So... Let's get to it.
moment of truth. I've been working on this thing all day. We got a lot of stuff done to it. We'll go through it real quick, but I want to hurry up and try to start it. So I don't know how good the battery is. All right, I put a little gas in it, but I'm not sure if I have enough. Everything's in neutral, park, every sec, et cetera. I'm gonna need some help. We're gonna recruit the boy, cause I gotta see if the injectors are, are spraying fluid or not, or spraying gas or not. So everything's in. I need you to jump in there and turn that key and turn it on. Turn it. All right. I don't think I have enough gas. Let's go through what we got done. We, uh, I replaced those, as you saw, they were all burnt up. They, uh, here's the old ones right here. If that tells you anything. These things were toast. Placed. Fuel pump. Gas tank. Hoses. This filler neck was an absolute pain because these bolts that hold that plastic insert in, they seized up. So when I spun these out, it spun off the plastic and I had to redo those and tap them and reuse them don't worry about my questionable uh gas cap there i'll get a new one it didn't come with a gas cap uh, uh i didn't hook my grounding grounding wire up properly uh because i still left the harness and everything hanging down because there's a reason this guy was cutting into the wiring harness going through this truck i hooked everything up hooked the wiring harness up and uh i was checking for a short to ground i didn't find one but the guy did mention that the fuel pumps this truck was eating up fuel pumps and obviously that was somewhat true or was true because on the relay here the fuel pump relay he had cut into the wire back there obviously looking for a short to ground somewhere or find some kind of resistance that underneath was completely chopped up with little splices everywhere. So I had to find all those and heat shrink them and get them covered up. Now, this is a little excess, but I used those uh, solder fittings in there because I could not push the new wire through the grommet. So I had no choice to put this on the inside and because I wanted to put it out here, but I just couldn't do it. Um, it wouldn't fit unless I possibly drilled them out, but I didn't want to run the risk of sucking dirt up in there. So. We're closer than we were before. The next day. All right, well, I'm back for day two. I couldn't end the video just yet. Uh, we finished up. I wired up the gas tank. Everything's good to go on that. Got the battery all hooked up. Uh, problem I am having now is I didn't think I had enough gas because the truck was at an angle. So what I did is I filled up a little bit more gas. Still wasn't dripping any fuel out of these injectors. So I leveled the truck back down, put the tires on the back, we'll worry about brakes later, and I'm still not getting feel out of these injectors. So these injectors here, I am on the passenger side, I'm getting a little bit of moisture coming out of that. And there is some bad fuel in there because the truck sat for a while. I am getting some moisture or fuel, fuel kind of coming out of that one, but nothing on the driver's side. Uh, I checked my fuel pump relay. I listed for the fuel pump to work in the back. Uh, checked everything for shorts. Everything checked out just fine after going through all that electrical. Now I'm left to the uh, checking those injectors. I don't think these things are working very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out and we're going to clean them and see if I can get them to uh, free up because I think they're locked up with that old gas sitting in there. Uh, there is a trick with the 9 volt battery. Uh, if I got a 9 volt battery, I'll show you how to do that. I don't think I do, but for now, I'm going to show you in time lapse again because you guys don't want to sit and watch me tinker for 30 minutes. I'm going to pull these out. Stand by. <laughs>
problem. Well, I took the injectors out <laughs> and it's no wonder why this thing won't work because this is the injector right here. I don't know if you could see that, but you took a peek down in that throttle body. This thing is toast, man. This whole thing is going to have to come apart and be rebuilt. So it's not as simple as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to pull the whole throttle body off the top of this and uh, rebuild it because that that is disgusting. You cannot run like that. There is so much rust and gunk. I told you this truck sat for like years and years and years. And, uh, well, that's what happens when you uh, don't put stay build or something in there. So now I'm going to pull the throttle body off, which is going to be a long process. I've never done one before. So, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to get as far as I possibly can and uh, time lapse that and uh, see what we can do. We might be able to uh, just clean those out because the injectors are bad. I don't know what the rest of it looks like. So... Let's get to it. gas as I thought would be but I got some stuff down there we'll have to vacuum out not a big deal but that is the inside of those injector ports they are horrible I'm hoping we can clean those up I think we can but it matches our injectors here which were just as bad a shape i mean they just garbage there's not even cleaning these up i mean they're not even worse salvageable i mean they're salvageable but they're it's not worth it when you're this far into it get a rebuild kit soak all this stuff clean it all up hopefully this is aluminum and the damage isn't too bad in there it should uh the seat points are still good where the o-rings are at so i'm not too afraid but we're gonna wind up uh Getting a rebuild kit for that. New injectors. This truck kept on eating up fuel pumps. Usually, typically, that is a grounding grounding issue. Ground, grind, ground. I can't, I can't, I can't say that word. Uh, that's a total weird word, isn't it? <laughs> that is a freaky <laughs> word. Man. Grounding issue. Uh, I didn't find any of those, but I did clean up the grounds and redo those. Um, I think the reason why I was eating up fuel pumps is because one. The tank was rotten. Two, uh, all this was bad, so it wasn't going to run right. So we kind of let them believe that 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 was going on. But uh, that fuel filter also was absolutely disgusting. So uh, hopefully that's all it was. So yeah, I'm sure that's what the problem was. Um, so it's a good thing I didn't get this running because even if those injectors did run, I wouldn't want all that in my fuel system because I just did a fuel filter. Everything's clean from the way back pump tank not the fuel lines filler neck hoses. I mean, it's all good and uh, I'm kind of glad that this happened even though it's a little bump in the step of getting this old girl up and running But we're that much closer. So that's going to conclude this video when I get the parts and get this thing all put back together I'll uh, make sure you guys uh are aware of that you guys get to see all that and uh, when it starts and runs on its own power for the first time you guys will be there so i appreciate you guys watching this has been kind of a two-day video but uh we'll catch you next time oh yeah and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet see ya